Good evening. I'm Glenn Quagmire, your instructor. Everyone look to your left. Now look to your right. All of you are sex offenders, and statistically, you will all be here again, because this has never worked in the history of doing this. Now, today, we have a new member, giggity, Chris G. Hi, Chris. All right, before we begin, whoever's driving a windowless van painted like an ice cream truck, your lights are on. Okay, next, let's take a few minutes to talk about our new fake interests. Here's a clay pot I made. I've started following girls' field hockey. No, come on, you're supposed to pick from the list. M Mr. Quagmire, this is terrible, and do I really have to be here? Well, the law does give you a choice, this or chemical castration. What's that? You take a ton of pills that completely wipe out all sexuality. Oh, is that what Michael Moore did? No, but I understand why you'd think that. Now, do you want to see the list? Well, I could take a whack at hand distressing furniture. We don't say whack. Meg, can you hand me the paper plates? I can't believe we're having an ice cream cake to celebrate Chris graduating from sex offender school. Well, the opportunities to celebrate don't come often in this household. There he is, Mr. Former Sex Offender. But Mom, it's not that big a deal. All I did was finish those creepy classes. I know, but now your record is clear. You can go back to being a normal boy and put all this behind you. Hey, Chris, when do you see the funny thing I had him put on your cake? Happy sixth birthday, Timmy? Uh-oh, they must have mixed them up. Nice crank, you dirty little bastard. Sorry, I'll take that. Here's your cake. I ate a great deal of it. Oh, there you are. How was your first day out of rehab? It was terrible. Taking that class made no difference. Nobody wants anything to do with me. Hi, Mr. Herbert. Oh, my God. Children, run! It's that pervert! Everybody into my safety basement! Oh! Oh, that was a bad snap. I'm hurt, kids. Don't eat those popsicles till I get down there. Hey, Chris. I see you walked across the grass again instead of using the walk. You're really wearing a path, aren't you? We call that Chris's Trail right there. Chris's Trail. Mr. Quagmire, I completed that sex rehab and I paid my debt to society, but people are still afraid of me, like I'm some kind of creep. How do I get them to treat me the way they did before all this happened? You can't. I'm sorry, Chris, but you're just going to have to accept that from now on, people are going to see you as a sex-crazed pervert. And there's nothing you can do to change that. Wait a minute. Maybe there is. Thanks, Mr. Quagmire. No problem, Chris. You keep that chin up, huh? I will. Hey, can I ring your doorbell? No, I'd rather you... <coughs> That's why no, Chris. That's why no. Hey, 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 hey,